discovered in 1880 by Pierre and Jacques Curie, the husband and brother of the famous Marie Curie. The piezoelectric effect, or piezo for those of a British countenance, is the observed phenomenon of electrical charge resulting from mechanical pressure. This is best found in certain crystalline solid materials, such as quartz or some ceramics. Even bones produce this effect. By pressing on a crystal, we can generate electricity. Whoa, crystal power is real, man. With refinement and specialized construction, pushing on a crystal can actually produce a spark used in most household lighters. The opposite effect, called converse piezoelectric effect, is where electricity is applied to the material, which then causes it to bend slightly. Using this, if electricity is turned off and on very quickly, the crystal will vibrate and produce sound. So technically, this is a rock that sings. In our experiment today, we'll be using these piezoelectric discs. They have a very thin slice of crystal mounted on a metal disc and can be used as a sensor, a microphone, or even a speaker. But we'll come back to this in a minute. Using a light sensor, known as a photoresistor, we will control the pitch of the sound from our piezo buzzer. As the name implies, these devices work like a combination of a very small solar panel with built-in resistor. The more light that is present, the more electricity can flow through them. The photoresistor module has both digital and analog circuits within it. We'll be using the analog today, so we can ignore the much more complex portion of the circuit for now. So now, to make sound from light. Our circuit is super simple this time around. Plug the positive red wire from the piezoelectric buzzer into pin 12. The ground wire on the piezo to the ground on the Arduino. The A0 analog output from the photoresistor module to the A0 pin on the Arduino. And the 5 volt and ground to their respective pins on the Arduino. With a quick bit of code, we can get to making music. Note the input from the analog read of the photocell pin which we test 15 times and then get the average light level before proceeding. Using this reading, we then use the map function to find the corresponding frequency to play using the tone command. This map command is really handy in taking care of the math for us. Bonus round. Graphite, as found in standard pencil lead, makes for surprisingly effective variable resistor. Simply draw a dark line on a piece of paper, and wherever we might need a resistor, like for an LED as shown in this picture, we can just use pencil lead instead. This means that, with just a minor modification, we can replace our photoresistor module with a resistor, a couple wires, and a scribble. By touching the wires from the Arduino to the graphite, we can get different tones based on the distance and amount of graphite between the two wires. Using graphite from rocks to make crystals sing. Strangely satisfying. <laughs>